Man, this webtoon hits home. I can't believe a genius actually thought to make such an amazing webtoon series. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, the 20th genius is here and I have a webtoon review for you. Today we're going to review the webtoon series, Mom, I'm Sorry. And for a lot of reasons, this webtoon series hits home, but I genuinely think it's one of the better webtoons to up and coming. And it's already personally in my top 10 uh, for this year and probably even this decade, honestly. But there are a lot of personal reasons for that. But let's get into it. I can't wait to tell you. So before that, um, if you like these videos and what I do, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I hope that you enjoy the video and read the series soon. So mom i'm sorry what is it about well firstly mom i'm sorry it's written by a guy or girl by the name of mitty mitty also made this series here called control z now i don't know anything about this series but i'll definitely leave it in the link below if you know about it or you want to read it as well so i have a question for you what would you do if your mother who was older than time itself actually woke up literally the same age as you hotter than you you probably lose your mind. Well, tell that to our main character by the name of Henry Young. Um, basically, after coming back from the military uh, from a year, uh, he realizes or he's told that his mother is going to die from a sickness that she actually kept from him from the moment that she he was born. Um, pretty much with nothing that he can do for her but to see and watch her die, he is introduced by a life dealer who offers to... Um, pay for well to cure the sickness if he would give him a large span of his lifespan now normally when given your lifespan you would think that he would become someone like the OG John but actually the uh, result was quite opposite and he actually becomes uh, the same uh, he's still the same age but his mother not only cured of her sickness but actually looks the same as she did in her 20s so you, you basically can't tell that they're related at all it, it looks weird. With her newfound longevity and her uh, newfound youth, uh, Olivia, which is her name, decides to finally do something that she's always wanted to do in her life. Go to college. She wants to get her degree and she wants to live the life that she always wanted to live before everything just hit her in the face. Now, on the other, on the other side, our main character here, Henry, basically has to play the mother. Um, as he must protect her from, you know, uh, from, you know, alcohol and drugs and other horny men. And he must do all of this while living his own life um, to picking up work and basically being a father to his new founded mother. A little weird, but um, trust me, the webtoon is very, very good. All that while meeting genius uh, tennis players who are rich and famous and live next to you. A vengeful girlfriend that, you know, you should have probably, you know, let her know that you were at least alive. And your best friend, you know, who is so dumb he can't realize, you know, that, you know, the truth that is literally right in his face. Who is also digging on his mother very hard. And you get one lovely piece of a webtoon series. There are two reasons why I love this webtoon series a lot. Uh, one, it really shows you the sacrifices that a mothers make. And two, it shows us how ungrateful us as children really are. A little bit something about myself. Um, I am an only child and the only, actually the only family member. The only family member that I've ever known my entire life was my mom. Uh, and I've seen my mother for so much of my life, especially the moments of raising me, do amazing things that I, don't, I didn't think regular human beings could do. Um, she made a lot of sacrifices and she did a lot of things just to make sure that her son is happy. There are many secrets that she kept from me so that way I can live the life the way that I wanted to do. So when I see, you know, when I see a webtoon like this, my heart only goes out to the mother because, you know, honestly, the one thing that is true, it really is very hard upon being a mother and really carrying a child no matter what you do and this webtoon gives us an amazing opportunity to see the shoe on the other foot and how hard it is for mothers to really do this type of thing and mothers do it for so many years of their child's life and it really shows you um how you know it is done and the process of that itself 
Um, I also love seeing uh, Henry just get a taste of his medicine. Um, I don't know if this was kind of implied, but Henry was pretty much of a jerk towards his mom, as he really didn't do anything for his mother, even when his mother was begging for it, and really just took all from his um uh, from his mother but he is seeing how that really feels as he must play the father role and he must see what his mother was seeing all of um, these times um, and then honestly just I just love you know how it supports mothers and just the actions that they do now there are many families in which they don't have mothers and they may not have mothers that you think are as good and in that case this video honestly isn't for you this video is more geared towards people who have a mother or who has a mother uh you know equivalent and has seen that person like transition as a better person for over the years or has just seen the work that that person has done over the years and that's definitely what her mom i'm sorry is in a nutshell and you know the crazy part about the mother that i'm talking about her the mother is a genius she is so smart her talents were wasted because her mother actually did not want her to go to college and it was better for her uh brother to go to college over her but in all reality she's a very smart, very intelligent, very cool, very strong um, um, woman, even um, in her 20s and even in her 50s as well. But she trained her whole life to go to school, so it kind of makes sense. But um, I do like uh, her personality and how cool that she is. And what does this all have to do with the webtoon as a whole? I love this webtoon for really showing people on a consistent basis how what uh, um, what being a mother really is and how hard is it for some mothers to be proper mothers. Um, I like this webtoon because it really shows a lot about how I treated my mother and things that I could do better in my mother's life. Um, I love fantasy series that really just cut the fourth wall and just bring things as accurate as um, possible. And yeah, again, this is a truly amazing read. And if you learn anything from this video, respect your mother. Take her out. Make her happy. Make her smile. But honestly, this goes to all mothers, including my mother. Thank you. Thank you for being mothers. Thank you for always being there. Even though we don't show it. We know that at the end, you are always there. And that is my video of Hello Mom, I Am Sorry. Again, if you like this series and want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. With that being said, I thank you for watching and listening to my video. With that being said, I'll see you next time.